In this video, I'm going to show you how to unpack your clock and hang it on the wall. Hi. So, first you take out all the screws that will be marked in red on the top. They are, and there's a, a few of them on the side. So you just take those out. And then you can take the top off. will be suspended in packing chips. You can see bags of them there. Um, and also wrapped in this plastic. So you have to get this plastic completely pulled away. Not wrapped it all the way around. And it will just be completely loaded with packing chips. It will be submerged in there. You won't see a thing. So, you can take a, you know, a, a little box or a bucket or something to, to start scooping out packing chips. Um, there will also be some bigger chunks of styrofoam uh, set in here. So if you pull them out first, then then the level of the of the packing chips will go down, and you can see things a little better. So here's the clock nestled in the box. You can see it will just be all loose. I don't wrap anything. I don't use bubble wrap. I think it's uh, just kind of dangerous wrapping and unwrapping. It's possible for something to go wrong. And it's not necessary. The clock will be suspended in these packing chips, which will be when it's when the top is put on, they'll be under pressure in there to keep the clock completely immobile. Then there's one other place to take screws out, and that's this little box over here. So there are four screws that need to come off. And then that inside here is the weight that runs the whole clock when you wind it up. So once you have it all, you know, enough of the chips out to reveal the clock, you can uh, you can reach in, and and this this piece here will be packed up a little higher, so you you'll see that first probably. You you get you can just reach in and, and grab that this little piece out of there, set it aside right over here, and then I think I move my camera a little bit like that. Okay, once this is all. Revealed here, you can you can grab the frame of the clock and just carefully lift it up. Let the chips fall where they may, so to speak. Okay, and you get it out. Just make sure the tips of the the pointed parts don't catch on the on the plastic, and then it will be ready to hang on the wall, just like this, and with very little assembly required. I'm just going to leave it down there for the moment and explain about the hanging template for uh, getting it positioned on the wall. I made this this template here. Uh, I'll hold it further out. That shows uh, it's got the frame of the clock sketched on it. It has uh, Places where you can put a level against it, either here or here or here, to make sure it's leveled up just right. So, like that. And then uh, you use this basically to, to figure out where you want the clock to be. Um, it says, here it shows the hand shaft. That's where the, in relation to the frame and the, the holes that hang the, the clock, or the screws that hang the clock, the hand shaft here needs to be at least one and a half meters up above the floor to give the clock a full 24 hours of run time when you wind the weight up and it slowly, it slowly uh, travels down while the clock is running. So that will be part of your 
you know, uh, decision making as to where the clock, how high up the clock is. Um, so it's roughly about this high or higher to run for full 24 hours. Um, before you hang the clock, you know, or, or before even using this, you may want to take the clock out of the box and just carefully hold it up against the wall and determine then your positioning where you want it that way. Kind of get a rough idea and then you can use this to position the holes or to use the holes to position the screws on it. So once you've determined where you want it to be, let's see if I can find my pen here. This hole here that says large screw, uh, that is what carries all of the weight of the clock. It all, it's held by that one. The smaller screw just keeps it from turning on the wall. It just stabilizes it. So you want to get this screw in a, something that's solid. I would recommend screwing into a wall stud. Um, there are uh, various kinds of anchors to uh, hold the clock in on drywall. I don't know what kind of wall you have, but this needs to be solid because it will carry the weight of the clock. So once you get that positioned where you want it to be, I'm going to put it right here, and I'll use my level to get it leveled up like that. And I'll mark this here, and I'll mark this here. Like that. And then for the larger screw, you will probably need to pre-drill a drill bit about that size and uh, drill that in first. the screw in so that up here so there's there should be a gap between the screw head in the kind of wall I'll show you that um, right there now here I normally tell people that should be about three eighths between between um, you know five sixteenths and three eighths of an inch, um, you uh, in metric that would be I don't know what maybe half half a centimeter, maybe a little more. What would that be? Ah, looks like well, about one about one centimeter or maybe between eight millimeters and eight and 10 millimeters should do it. And then the, the bottom screw would go in in the, in the same way. Like that. So they're ready for, for hanging. I'll move this back a little farther now. these like keyhole type of holes here so the screw head will go into the, the large part of the bottom and then the whole clock will slide down to anchor it to the wall. Alright. I usually put the one the upper one in first, get the lower one in and then the whole thing slides down like that. So it's hanging solid on the wall. All right, then I'm going to pull the weight out of that little box where it was sitting. 
open this down a little more. And I can just I can just let that down and rest it on the floor at this point. Now the, the pendulum has been held in place just by this rubber band over here. So carefully now you can take you can just grab the rubber band and stretch it way out like this over that point on the pendulum and then you can you can just take it off. That that held the pendulum in place so that it uh, doesn't just move around while you're hanging the clock. It keeps these the suspension string is in the right position too, and I'll explain about that later in another video. Then, this other piece that I showed before gets put on out on the left end of the pendulum. So you just slip the loops over the end, bring it up to where it gets snug, and then there are there's a little markings on the back side that I put in, just a little a little uh, mark on each each one where that should be. And now the pendulum is hanging. I can take this little pad off. There will also be uh, another part that I'll have separately. Uh, in a that'll be uh, attached to that template probably. This is uh, just for winding the clock for holding the string. So I, I just I had it looped around this knob here. So I'll just take that off like that, and then this gets hung on it like so. And I'll take that. I don't bother with a rubber band right now. So for winding, you pull down on the this string um, where it unravels, where it unwinds from the, the shaft. You can see that there. You pull down that string and it turns that center shaft. And then, you, and then you start lifting up on this other string. So it's not so hard to pull down the smaller string and wind up the weight like that. And you can wind it all the way up to uh, get the, you can bring the weight all the way up to here to run as long, so the clock will run as long as possible that way. And then after winding, you just give the pendulum a light push and start it up like that. There's some more uh, that I will explain about adjusting the pendulum, setting the hands, various things in uh, another video. So that's enough of that one.